Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be shopping right here on Apple.com. So let's get started. So depending on what you want to buy, you're going to see all the options on the top right here. And you can click on any one of those. However, depending on what you're buying, it's kind of fast to just going to store. Just tap on store. Once you tap on store, you can scroll down and just scroll, scroll until you see what you want. In this case, we're looking to AirTag. So let's tap on AirTag. It's going to show you a little bit of information about it. But on the top right hand corner, you're going to see buy. Now, before you tap on buy, I want you to go into this icon, which is all the way on the top right hand corner. Just tap on it. Once you tap there on the left hand side, you're going to see this account and sign in. I want you to sign in. If you don't have an Apple ID, don't worry about it. You can create an Apple ID just by putting your email and then just create a password. That's all. You're creating an account. And why is this good? Well, then you can track anything that you buy right here on Apple.com. Even if this is not for you, maybe it's a gift for somebody. It's good to create an account. That way you can track all your stuff and you can even see your receipts online as well. It's just going to be a lot easier. Anyways, once you created your account or just signed in, you should just go back and just press and buy. Once you press and buy, you're going to see these options, one pack or four pack. Four pack is slightly cheaper than just getting one because it does not go down in price per unit. So we're going to tap on four pack. You can add engraving or you can skip that. Keep in mind that adding engraving is free. And what does that mean? Well, they're just going to put your name, if your name there, or you can put your initials, even emojis. However, if you think that you might have to maybe sell this later on, it's best to just skip the engraving. At this point, we're just going to skip the engraving. Right down here, you're going to see pick up options. You can have it delivered to you for free or you can even pay. It's really up to you and how fast you want this. So for now, we're just going to add it to our bag. From here, just tap on review bag on the top right hand corner. Then you're going to see this, your total. I can go on and check out using Apple Pay or just press check out and I can use a credit card. Also, if you scroll down, you're going to see that it still gives you the option to add some engraving just in case you change your mind. Plus, you can even add gift wrapping and a card. So again, if this is a gift, you do have those two options. Keep scrolling down. You're going to see your total again. And you're going to see right here, check out and check out with Apple Pay. So let's say you guys don't have Apple Pay, which is just your credit card tied to Apple Pay, by the way. Uh, let's just click on checkout. Even when we click on checkout, it's still going to give us the option to do Apple Pay regardless. From there, it's going to ask you to sign in if you didn't already. But even sometimes when you sign in, it's still going to ask you to sign in again. Then you will see this page. Now this up here could be the correct postal code for you, but maybe not. So at this point, I would change that just to make sure your shipping's okay. And if I keep scrolling down, I'm going to see the options once again. And if I want this really fast, I can pay $13 and have this as soon as today or just free shipping. And I'm going to get this in just three days with free shipping. So I'm just going to wait those three days. I have no rush. Just press on continue to shipping address. You can go on and use a new address, uh, edit the address that you have already when you created your account, make sure your email is correct. And then down here below, it's important to put your phone number. You don't have to, but it's best that you do that. If you don't have a phone number, you can go on and click on I don't have a mobile phone number but uh, this will keep everything secure if you do have one. Once you fill up all that information, scroll all the way down on the bottom left hand side, you're going to see continue to payment tab right there. And like I mentioned before, you will see the option of Apple pay once again, just in case, or just putting your credit card tap on credit card. You may go on and put your credit card information, expiry date, the back of your credit card. If you scroll down, you're going to see billing address. Just make sure your name's right. Put your company name if you have a company street address and fill all this up. Or if it's the same thing as your shipping address, just tap right here on the left hand side, billing address, go on and click there. I would like to note if you go all the way down, you still have that option to Apple Pay. So it still gives you that option just in case. And you can go on once you're done filling everything up and review your order. Once you tap on review your order, you're going to see this information here. Scroll down all the way down and you will see this. Your total free shipping. Now, for those of you who chose to do it with Apple Pay, you would see continue with Apple Pay. If you chose a credit card and fill that information, just tap on this. And it's going to just be a blue button. Now, if you chose to do this with Apple Pay, you would have your phone beside you. It's going to pop up a message saying that you need to double tap. You just need to double tap on the side of your phone and then you just paid for this and you're all done. If you did it with a credit card, it would just going to take you to this page. Just check your email. You should be getting a verification email that you just did this order. 
Plus, you can see your order number, so make sure to copy that into somewhere to take a screenshot if you didn't get that email. But as long as you create an account, you should be okay anyways. But just keep in mind that this will say processing until they actually ship it out. Only once they ship it out, they're gonna charge you. So don't worry if you didn't get charged right away on your credit card. Now, although they told me I'm gonna get this in three days, they could technically just ship it out just the day before. So this could be processing for two days in my case. It's not a big deal, it happens all the time. But as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.